Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In a moment, we are going to find the vertex of a quadratic function. Now, the process for doing this is to take the function in the form it's in right now and rewrite it in a much nicer form so we can read the, ver uh, the coordinates of the vertex. Now, the process for rewriting it into the much nicer form is known as completing the square. Okay? So watch carefully because there's lots of steps involved and let's see how this works. So what I'm going to do is I want to complete the square on my x's. So I'm going to start trying to isolating those x's onto one side. This means I'm going to add 19 to both sides. So that I just have my x's on one side. Now I know this isn't proper function notation over here, but for the moment it's going to work out just fine. Now I want to go ahead and divide by anything in front of x squared. In this case that negative 2. Divide that side and divide that side. So this will give me an x squared plus 6. Alright. Now, the key to really making this factor is finding a number to add to both sides. To find this number, you look in front of your x term, you divide it by 2, and you square it. Now, no matter what number you find in front of x, it's always divide by 2 and square. So 6 divided by 2, that would give me a 3, and 3 squared is a 9. So I'm going to take that number and add it to both sides of my equation. Alright, now I've collected quite a mess on the left side of my equal sign here, but on the right side I've set up things perfectly so it will factor nicely. So if you look at it, x squared plus 6x plus 9 factors into x plus 3 squared. Look at that, nice. Well, now we need to start taking care of everything on the left side and moving it back on the right side. All right. Let me go ahead and just write it down for now. And we'll go through the process of shifting things over. So we basically do all the steps uh, now in reverse to get it to the other side. So subtract 9. There we go. Multiply by a negative 2. And looks like subtract 19. Eighteen minus nineteen, a minus one. All right. So all of these steps has basically just taken our original and put it into a different form. Now when it's written in this form, these two numbers here tell you the coordinates of your vertex. Now that vertex, the x-coordinate is going to be the opposite of this number inside parentheses, so negative 3. And the y-coordinate will be the same as the number outside parentheses, negative 1. So essentially, our graph looks like a parabola with a vertex at negative 3, negative 1. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.